Hello and welcome to episode 40 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. We've done a little bit of business, but as the, possibly the biggest season in the history of Leatherhead FC begins, we need to make some more signings. We need a centre-back, definitely. We need maybe two or three more players. If we can find a way to do it, we need to ship players out, bring players in. We also have the small matter of our first chance of silverware this season with a community shield up for grabs. Let's get into it. Come on. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? At where we are. So we got... Things got a bit bogged down at the end of the last stream, I have to say. We were sort of fresh out of ideas. And we ended up with a... A frankly pointless bid for Arthur Cabral. It's not going to happen. Let's remind ourselves about what we have got lined up. So Smith Rowe, we don't really need, and it's a big salary for a player we don't really need. We managed to talk Fabian Delph down to 282,000 salary. So I think we probably will end up bringing him in just as backup in the midfield with Allison gone, and he can also play left back, so quite a useful player. Um, I know not the most exciting signing but still got some good stats really i think he's oh yeah i need to change this we need to really need to be down here for this that's better so we can see the salary budget don't know why i did that last time um so yeah i think we'll probably end up buying delf uh, smith row we don't need because our new um new signing that we have made can play an attacking mid so we don't need that uh salisu the Ghanaian destroyer I think we uh, I think we should probably just get him done. He's a bit of a bargain, 7.6 mil, 1 mil salary, totally doable for a player of his quality. He'll come in as our highest rated defender by quite a long stretch. Olsen we've got for another 6 months, we don't need to do anything about that. Cabral is unlikely to happen. So very quickly, we'll be at the Community Shield. Um, and then Spurs, first day of the season. Who we beat in the FA Cup final. Would love to beat them again. Not long left though in terms of transfer window business. I don't think we're going to hear much from the scouts in this time. Um, but I think we do want to switch the scouting up and just go all out to see if we can just snag a centre forward from somewhere. But we do have in here, who's, who's interesting, worth a look, is this, uh, this guy Yalsin, the Turk. Um, maybe too similar to Weyer, but he's very, very good on the ball. Excellent, excellent on the ball. And his offensive awareness, 84 offensive awareness. We did have this guy pop up, who is a real out-and-out -out striker. I do like him. Maybe worth another attempt to trade someone. <laughs> uh, we want to go straight out. and we wouldn't want to, we, If we can keep Weyer, that's probably better. They trade him for Balogun. It's unlikely. We'll give you three million in Balogun. And we'll absolutely wow you with uh, 1.3 mil. Can we even afford that? I don't think we can. He'd be good. I mean, he's one for the future a bit. It's not the right signing, isn't it? We're, we are really grasping here. Scouts found us Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln is good. Lincoln, I remember liking a lot. This could be interesting. Lads, we could be onto something here. 78 rated. This guy's good. Yeah, mm, okay. I mean, he's 23. Flamengo as well. 79 offensive awareness, 78 finishing. It's not quite what we wanted, but he is strong. 81 contact, 81 balance. He's a little lad. He is short. He is not a hold-up striker, but he would be bagging goals, definitely. Living La Vida Lincoln. <laughs> he would bag us some goals, 100%, and I bet we could get him at a cheap, cheap price. This could be the way. I remember us looking at Lincoln a lot uh, in the Ponte Preta days. He was always a very attractive signing. It looks like we'll be able to get him for a steal. This could be the answer to our problems here. I'm going to pull the trigger. It gives us 80 as well as a top limit. It is a big salary, but he is our best player. Um, and he could become 81. Yeah, he could be 81. So there we are. Big signing there. Huge signing. Massive. 
big money spent leaves with 11 mil transfer budget and a salary budget that's just about enough for one player. It would cover Yaosin or Lincoln quite comfortably and leave us enough for a fairly decent sized loan. Let's play our first game as a Champions League club. Not in the Champions League, but we have a chance for some early silverware here. Let's take a look at the sides. It feels like a long time since we've said that. Let's see how we're looking today. Will Salisi walk in for his first game? Thanks for the passion tokens, Dave. Let's get some passion tokens in here. Let's start the season strongly. Um, I think Salisu has to come straight in. Left footed, lovely. So we've got a right and a left footer, perfect. 71 loss to pass, he's not bad at passing. 85 ball winning, 86 physical contact, 85 stamina. Crazy money, crazy money. Um, Josh De Silva out. So it's going to be Misha Jamali in. We're still, we're happy to trust Misha. Let's take a look at the home side. Well, not the home side. Yeah, it's the United side full of quality. Garner, a player that we've looked at signing. Those two DMFs are strong. I like it. And then, yeah, lots of talent up top. And Calvert-Lewin will be a real test for Salisu in his first game for the club. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, that's a lovely ball over the top. Salisu's got ground to make up here. It's Mason Greenwood. Fuck. Fuck. That's not the start we needed. That is not the start we needed at all. Oh, dearie me. In those situations, the pace of Greenwood is going to trouble any centre-back. Tosin watching from the bench thinking, my position would have been better than that. Could have slid in there. Maybe. Probably not worth the risk there. Number Saka. Fernandez's effort. <laughs> Just narrowly misses to the right of Woodman's goal. He's got Luke Shaw with him. Matty Cash on the overlap. Can whip a ball in here. Timothy Weyer. Oh, it's gone all the way through. BB King lurking, waiting for that one. It's unlucky. Bruno Fernandez given way too much time and space to get a shot off. Really struggling here. Oh, that's a poor pass. Oh, BB King, great work there. Can he square it into the path of where it's going to be? Goal number one of the season for Timothy Weyer. No, 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 no. Huge mistake there from Bai. Great hustle there from the Chilean. Oh, just pokes it there. Going towards BB King. Could fall to Caicedo here. Great effort. Armstrong couldn't react in time. Oh, better here from Leatherhead. 23 minutes gone. That's well one, Zanatanov. Oh, no. Calvert-Lewin nicks it back. Greenwood now with another opportunity. Jemaili doesn't do enough there at all for my liking. Matty, that's poor. Bloody hell. Chester bails him out there. Away from McTominay. BB King now. Fouled in the box. Surely. Oh, De Gea. What a save. What a save that is. You kept that in, Matty. Oh, you absolute penis. Greenwood just drifts away there. <gasps> Seager, no. Oh, fucking hell. Fernandez free kick to end the half here. If we can escape without conceding here, we've done very well. Oh, it does its job. Fernandez keeps it alive. Come on, blow the whistle, ref. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's keep this momentum going, though. Leatherhead have started really well. <sighs> oh, Salisu. Oh, we fucked it here. Oh, shit. Shit. What the fuck was Salisi doing here? Had to stay with him. Don't get dragged in there. Back out to the left back here. Oh, he's nicked it off by there. Great work, Misha Jamaili. Back in the side here. Timothy Ware gets a bit of fortune there. Come on then. There we go. Well. Good stuff against the run of play, you would say. We've not been great. I don't even think that deserves a boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, where. If anything, it's Misha Jamali who should be getting the plaudits here. But right place, right time. Good finish. Come on. It's not over yet. Olsen. Magno. Talis Magno. First shot. <laughs> well, what an introduction that would be. To English football from Talis Mango 
steps away neatly there. Skov and Magno, both of them have got rockets in their boots. Mambasaka. Yes, Moises. The Ecuadorian powerhouse. Now Hester Cook away from McTominay. Pokes it through into Skov. He's onside. There's only one thing on his mind here, and it's cut back in. BB King on the... Yes! 80th minute here at Old Trafford, and the King is definitely not dead. First goal of the season for the Chilean. No questions about his involvement in this team. Absolutely no, no questions at all. And he's back with a goal in the Community Shield. United with just 10 minutes to go here at Old Trafford, slumped to their knees. Some interesting substitutions from Hunter. He's rolled the dice massively here. And it's Big Skov, the architect of this one. They know what he's going to do. Little dummy, another dummy, back inside. De Gea can't handle the heat, the Danish heat on that one. Worth a go. Mr. Kirk. Casido. That wasn't the plan. So Natanov. That's a big tackle. Casido. Another big tackle. Talis Magno. Foul. Ref. No. Big Woody, you've got to get this on target. Yes, Balogun. Ball into Magno. Can he slip a ball into the path of BB King? Pogba is back defending. Twat. Olsen is back. Just a couple of minutes left here on the clock. Old Trafford, Caicedo into Calvert-Lewin. Slips it around the corner into Mason Greenwood. Oh, no. Wow. Bruno Fernandes goes short as well into Bailly. It's risky. No. No. Matty Cash, shoot! <laughs> no. No way. Has to cook away. Skov can't get to it. Has to cook can. He's still out of his goal, but not far enough. Damn. Okay. Well, two all here in this community shield. We've come back into it in a big way in the second half. We've created chances. No more subs remaining. Straight to pens. Oh, shit. All right. Fair enough. Um, that's a shame. We don't really have any penalty takers here, but I think there's an Atdenov. Comes in for Casido. Uh, straight to pens. All right. Well, we've won on pens before. We know how to do it. Hunter, obviously, the king of pens. Look at that beautiful crowd. Look how much better that is than eFootball. E <laughs> Uh, but we can do this. Woodman, penalty specialist. We know the reflexes are there. He's going to save this one down to his right-hand side. Sir Marcus Rashford steps up. At Old Trafford. No, OK. Fair enough. Good pen. Good start there for United. BB King now. The Chilean. Scored in his first game of this new season. Can he beat the Spaniard? Yes, he can. Simple. Hunter on for pens would have been great. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Mason Greenwood. Green Greenman? The young man. Oh, that's some pen. No one saving that. Incredible penalty there from the young striker. Big Skov now came on. Made a difference. He's not hit that hard enough at all. Big Skov. There goes the wrong way. Fine. It's all right. We don't have to hit them hard or in the corners. If we can give the hair the eyes. Dominic Calvert-Lewin now. Can Woodman make himself the hero here? He's gone the right way. Big strong hand. Strong hand from Sheriff Woody there. <laughs> Laying down the law. And now the youngster following Balogun. Can he follow this up with a good penalty? Oh, he can. De Gea guessed right. Couldn't get there. Advantage Leatherhead now. As Bruno Fernandes steps up. Will he fire this into the stands? Fernandes versus Woodman. Stutters. It's good pen. Good pen. He's full Woody there. He's gutted. No need to be gutted. We're still in this. And it is the new boy. Talis Magno. Oh, that's gone badly wrong. No. De Gea guesses wrong. And Woodman here with a chance to win us our first bit of silverware of the season. Paul Pogba steps up. Woodman can make himself the hero here. Sheriff Woody makes himself big. 
Pogba. The most annoying. Yes! Come on then. The Tanners take it home. Woodman again, the hero. What a man. What a keeper. We've done it. We've done it. Yes. Lovely work. We had troubles during the game itself. But we're a penalty specialist team. Hunter, the manager. Oh, look, there he is. He's on the pitch. Celebrating in front of the away fans. If there's one thing Hunter knows, it's penalties. Scored the most important penalty in the history of the English national team as a player. And now the number one coach. Uh, for some reason, Skov is the captain. That's a shame. <laughs> but a great, great start to this season. A community shield to add to the FA Cup. Silverware on silverware for the Surrey side. Uh, Olsen's out till August. Yeah, he did take a big hit there. Hopefully that's not actually too long. No scouts. That's an issue. How do you feel going into the first match of the new season? Well, we've already got some momentum going. Two cups in a row. And yeah, strong start is key to making the title. Don't even need to think about it. Oh, here we are. Hunter in the tracksuit. They're a tough side, but no reason to fear Spurs because they are Spurs. If you, you're not aware, it's, it's Spurs, lads. That would have been enough. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? If the team talk was Jess, lads, it's Spurs. But yeah, we're starting at the Michael Caine. That's excellent. Make them play at our pace. Come on then. We've beaten them so many times. Let's start the season strongly. Tales Magno comes straight in there. I'm happy with that. BB King on a downward arrow. You could argue we go that and we go Armstrong out on the right. It's tempting to silver again. Look. Josh, we can't be handling this. All right, we can play Jamali today. 91 team spirit, that works. Uh, obviously, Salisu in for Darabio, takes us down to 89. I need to change that permanently. Um, that works for me, though. Any new signings from them? No, nope. it's the team that we've beaten on many occasions. Uh, let's get into it. Good footwork there from the Cashman. Armstrong back to Hester Cook. Hooks one over to Weyer. It's a lovely ball. Oh, what a start to the season. Hester Cook unpicking the Spurs defence. No problems there. They call him the Surrey Pirlo. And that deserves a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, Weyer. Have you done enough to keep your place? Armstrong steps inside. Good ball to Hester Cook here. Give him way too much time. Floats that in with his weaker foot. And that is a smart finish. Jamali gets a touch to that. Salisu against Kane again. Does enough. Zanadzanov can only find Hoiberg. Good hit there. Unlucky. Good, good hit. Kane on the turn. Good block. Cash. Zanadzanov. Good ball. Armstrong. Magno. With that great low passing. Timothy Weyer. Oh, he's got very lucky there. But it's a brace for the Brooklynite. I go boom, boom, and I mean, he said, where? Boom, 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 and I mean, he said, where? Imagine 30,000 Leatherhead fans. Boom, 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 and I mean, he said, where? Lovely, lovely work there. Look, we know how to beat Spurs. It's in our DNA. Great counter attack here. And Talis Magno, what we knew is that despite being a goal scorer, he has got some passing ability. And uh, that did it. That's what unlocked this defence. On his left foot as well. Perfectly weighted. Had to be in that spot. And way up. Lloris almost gets a glove to it. but Well, he does get a glove to it, but not powerful enough. Great, great start here from Leatherhead. Two goals at the Michael Kane. Leatherhead looking assured so far. Ball into Kane, lays it off to Lamella. Real opportunity here for Spurs. Son on the turn. Great effort on his left. It's wide. Warning signs there for Leatherhead. I don't really want to have to play. Oh, Salisu's won a load of headers today. What a ball. Oh, my goodness. What a ball, Charlie. Armstrong plays it through to Timothy Weyer. Oh, Martinez. That's good defending. Oh. Got it back there. All right, fair enough. Oh, you bastard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think Salisu's just done enough there. 
Oh, lovely work from the new centre back. And now Zanatinov. It's opened up for him here. Oh, what are you doing? You're an absolute idiot. Armstrong. Space to run into here. Way ahead of him. And I'm Armstrong now. Onto that right. Good hit. Whoa! Oh my word. I take everything back I've ever said about him. He's killed it off here. <laughs> In itchy nose time. It was the flip flap. Absolutely. Just, <laughs> just confused the Spurs defence. The unnecessary step overs here. For some reason, Sanchez didn't fancy it. It's a really good finish in the end. As we've said, yeah, he cannot pass, but boy, can this lad shoot. So Hunter and Chair coming on, two of the fan favourites here, getting their first run outs of the season. They are not over yet. They're still a part of this team. Ilias Chair, you know he's got some magic in that right foot. <laughs> Tesla Reese is one of his trademark dippers. That's unlucky. Easy. Easy. <laughs> cut, cut. Easy. Leatherhead once again proving that it's just Spurs. And where on the score sheet again? Has he done enough? Has he done enough? Woody was huge again. How many saves? For Sheriff Woody, four saves for the big man. Where gets man of the match? Magno with a decent full debut. Grabbed the assist, wasn't hugely involved. Armstrong was though, he did well. Scored his goal, good finish from him. Hester Cook looked decent, he grabbed an assist as well. Good game, as ever. Spurs, very beatable. And there we are, we start the season where we need to be. Top of the table. Eddie and Ketia. oh, oh, that's what we wanted to see. And Pellegri as well. Mm. And Ketia is so tempting. Pellegri we like as well, I remember Pellegri. Oh, we've got some tough decisions to make here. Um, yeah, I think we signed Fabian Delph, and that's fine. We can do that. No problem there. Not a, not a sexy one, but we've got the uh, Fabian depth. Um, Olsen back in. Delph on the back. I need to I need to change this. I'll do it next time. Um, that looks good to me. 91 team spirit. That's fine. I guess Toshin should be on the bench. De Silva back in, that's good. It's good for the team. Uh, yeah, great. That's that's the squad that did us everything we needed to. Quick look at Bournemouth. We've beat, we've played, but I feel like Bournemouth are the team that we've played more than any. We know how to beat them, as with Spurs. It's a strong back five, of course. New keeper, 82 rated keeper, that's interesting. We can do this, we can beat them. That's a really good ball. Cash beaten by Kelly. Falls to Josh King. <sighs> Big save, Woody. The silver back in today. That fills me with much more confidence. I'll hold it off and find Nutty again. Oh, big hit. Really looking forward to the Champions League. That's going to be so much fun. Bayern and Atletico Madrid. Sporting the easy the easy game of the uh, of the group is, is not going to be easy at all. Simakant. That's a player we've looked at. Solanke's done really well. He's got ahead of Salisu there. And Bournemouth take the lead. Oh, tough. It's great movement, though, from Solanke. Lerman, that's great work. King on the turn. 62% oh. possession for the home side. We're struggling here. Casino can't win that. Cook does well. Shooting position there for Lewis Kirky. Sprays it wide, but Bournemouth looking really good so far. Now Skov can bring it forward. He's got runners left and right. Big Skov, though. You know he's looking to fire one here. Skov! Oh, the Skov missile. Locked and loaded there. That's unlucky. Why? what the fuck? Shit. Ah, oh, we fucked it there. That's a really good ball. Josh King. Oh, devil's the misery here for Leatherhead. We've been poor. 
there's absolutely no excuse for our performance so far. We've been ripped apart. This is not good enough. Oh, Hester Kirk. <sighs> Frustrated challenge there from Hester Kirk. It's going to be a yellow card for the midfielder. Oh, no shit. Second yellow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it goes from bad to worse here for Leatherhead. <laughs> oh, no. That is not the way. Well, that was an unexpected end to a really poor half. Yes, well, the captain says. Right, I've got to fucking do this myself. Because I will. Cash, lovely ball around the corner into Weir. Back to Matty Cash now. Ball inside. Scoff! <laughs> yes! I don't quite know what happened with that finish. But somehow, the big Dane has smuggled that in. And we're back in this one. It's a lovely little run there from Weir. Back to Cash. Floats it in. It's a touch off the thigh, possibly, from Big Scov. It's a very non-Scov-like goal there, really. Off the chest. And then heads it past the Bournemouth keeper. It's unorthodox, but we'll absolutely take it. Oh, Moises, no. Oh, how has that gone through there? No fucking way. Another head. To steal a point here. Where on the turn. Oh, he's done really well. Timothy! No! Awful. Awful. I mean, Chester getting sent off, not ideal. Oh, dearie me. Gutted. Can't be dropping points against Bournemouth. Oh, piss off, we should have... It's all gone horribly wrong. Should have done it to a day. Has to cook out for a game. No players scouted. The white kit, no! <laughs> of course! Well, that is definitely the last time we see that white kit. Um, okay, well. Well, we, we won a cup today, alright? We've done well. We've won a cup. We've signed what should be a really good centre-back. And... Fabulous depth. And we're going to sign a good centre-forward. We're going to sign a better centre-forward than we have now. Um, pff, Lincoln's bloody good, though, isn't he? It's a really tough choice. Either way, we've got a really, really good centre forward coming in. So I'm, I'm happy, whatever we go with. But I think we're going to leave it. So I'd love to know, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments which of these two centre forwards should we sign. Um, simple as that. And then we'll decide on Monday in the live stream. And then... In that live stream, not only will we have a new centre forward, but we go straight in to our first Champions League game. So you've got to join me. If you've not already joined me, um, Monday is the one. Have your say on our new centre forward signing. And then, revel in Leatherhead, inviting Bayern Munich to the Michael Caine Arena. Wow. And then United at the Michael Caine. And then, away to Bielsa's Leeds and then Chelsea at the Michael Caine. It's going to be a thrilling, thrilling episode. So join me for that. It's going to be great. So there we have it. A bit of a mixed episode, although we did win a cup and we've signed two really strong players. Um, and we're going to sign a really, really good centre forward. Either one of the two. I'd love to know in the comments your thoughts. Um, and it'd be great to see you in the stream on Monday over on Twitch, 9pm, BST, GMT, English time. And uh, we start our Champions League campaign, inviting Bayern to the Michael Caine, possibly with a new striker. Probably need another loan as well, just to bolster the squad. We've got a lot to do and a big season ahead. It'd be great if you could join me. If not, like the video and subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.